And I said, that's funny. It's your dad's and if handles. you are envious, so am I. This is gonna go too. Um, are died. <laughs> To try our hand at Project 333. What is Project 333? 333 is a wardrobe project based on a book written by Courtney Carver. And, and some benefits of the Project 333 is to save money, reduce decision fatigue, and to clear up some space in your closet. The official rules for the 333 are 33 items for three months. These items include the clothes that you wear every day to work, to school, to shopping, to coffee with friends, etc., along with shoes and accessories. This does include bags and jewelry, as well as sunglasses. However, it does not include loungewear, so items you only wear at home. It does not include underwear and bras, and it does not include sleepwear. But we're doing Project 333 a little different. Um, we're only doing 30 days. We're going to try 30 days at first and see how it goes, and if we like it, then we'll continue for another 60. We are not including our accessories because I only have one necklace that I wear constantly, and she also only has one necklace and bracelet that she wears consistently. Yeah, I've recently added a few more to my closet just as kind of costume jewelry, but they're definitely not like a deal breaker for me. It's just not a big deal, so I'll just keep the ones I wear every single day which is part of her rules. Um, she says if you have a piece like a wedding ring or earrings, etc., that you wear every single day, then go ahead and not count those. And so that's what we'll be doing. We're also not including our sunglasses because we just don't have an abundance of sunglasses. Yeah, we both have just a couple pairs and basically my biggest decision on those is black or tortoise, so. Yeah. That's an easy one. And what we are including is our clothes, including jackets, our shoes, and our bags. And the bags is a tough one. For her. Yeah. Uh, a, it's in between seasons here. So, I mean, it's spring, but the weather is in between. It rains here all the time in the spring. So if you've got bags with bichetta, you're in trouble. And I don't want to only use my bags that are more winter wear and safer for the elements because I want to use things like Azure, et cetera. But I have managed to pare it down to four and we'll see how it goes. I don't know if that one will last past the 30 days, however. I don't have a ridiculous amount of bags and it's just not a hard thing for me to decide on a daily basis. So I'll do it for the 30 and see how it goes. For me, I think the hardest part will be uh, crew necks. I normally just wear sweatshirts out all the time. Yeah, yeah, she's got quite the sweatshirt collection. I've got a lot of button ups. Yeah. White shirts are my diehard favorite. Like I, I can have 20 of them because literally I wear them all the time. I don't. I'm down to four. I was at nine or ten. I'm down to four. We've been working on our own minimalist journey. So I took a white button up out of my 333 and she almost died, died. <laughs> on the spot. Yeah, melted to the floor. We also decided because we are mother and daughter that we are at an advantage and if we want to borrow somebody else's on their side of the closet, we can do that. Yeah, I mean, honestly. It might be cheating, but you know, it's our rules. Yeah, it is our rules, and you're supposed to make it your own, and it's not supposed to make you miserable or meant to make it harder for you to make decisions. So, you know, that's a bonus of being mother or daughter, so we're gonna take advantage of that. So I'm, if I need a button up. Yeah, if she needs a button up, or if I need a crew neck, then we're good to go. Yeah. If you've got a pair of jeans that's gotten too big or too small or has damage, you are allowed to go with prices. However, you're not supposed to be doing any shopping. So, for example, I have some black uh, sandals on right now, and I've had these since last year, and they've got some scuffs on them, and they're a little bit too big. So I already have a pair of black sandals ordered that I'm going to be replacing these with in my wardrobe, in my 33 item wardrobe, and I already planned on that. So we're gonna start with her closet first, and then we'll go to mine. Yeah. But. I, I watched this all unravel trying 
her trying to get to 33 items. And let me tell you, it's quite fun. Well, I didn't have that many to be honest because like I said, we went down to minimalist rules um, over the last couple years with everything from dishes to decorations to clothing. But with that being said, I do have some favorites. And when you've already kind of whittled your closet down to your favorites, for me, that gets really hard. It's like I've already gone through this stuff, I already know what I love, so like now I'm doing it again, so. Well also, your wardrobe always matches each other. Like you could pull, you could go blindfolded in her closet and pick out two things, a top and a bottom, and they'll match. Yeah, and that's kind of always been, you know, me my entire life. I just love the neutrals. Everybody thought it was extremely boring because, you know, oh look, mom's favorite color is khaki. But you know what? It matches everything. It does. So and I think I adopted that a little bit. Yeah. Malibu used to have an abundance of t-shirts with different characters on them, like Harry Potter, Stranger, um, things. Stranger things. Oh, she had a huge Stranger Things collection. She even had a jacket from um, Riverdale, which she absolutely loved and spent a lot on. Yeah. But at the end of the day... I um, couldn't wear it with anything. Yeah, and over maturing over the last several years, she's kind of curated and found out what works for her as well. And um, well, so like things. young though, like not too sophisticated. Yeah, yeah, it's still fun. So, all right, well, we're gonna get into it and see what I've got and see what she's got and talk about it. Let's go. Let's go. These are the items that I grabbed from my wardrobe. First, I'm gonna start with my warmer wear and work down to my t shirts and then onto my bottoms, like pants and skirts. And then I'll show you the bags and shoes at the end. So first thing I grabbed was my denim jean jacket. This is from J. Crew, And this has been my best friend through the winter here in the South because I just layer it and it works. If it's too cold, but not cold enough for winter coat, which I haven't needed a winter coat at all here in North Carolina, so. When it's too cold, we just don't go out. We don't go out. Or like, I'll take my denim jacket, I'll put like a sweatshirt under it, put a warm scarf over it, I'm good to go. Alrighty, so jean jacket, and then I've got my olive green, khaki green jacket. It's kind of like, it looks like a khaki material, cotton. Um, it's by Rails. Uh, Nordstrom's brand, I believe. This works for everything from like a button down jacket, kind of, or you can layer it. Yeah. But you can layer it like he's like almost like a denim shirt, or you can layer it with a hoodie and wear it as a jacket. It works for a lot of things, and it's one of my favorite colors. I love earth tones, I love green. It's like a neutral green. Next, I've got a blazer. Now, this is the only blazer I had left after decluttering as far as for spring, summer that would work. I have a fall one, that's the way. There is a chance I might have to switch this out for a lighter weight one, um, just because I might melt in this and I do <laughs> need to have a blazer in my wardrobe. So that is, that could happen. But it's my blazer, it's a wool mix. This is from J. Crew. Um, goes with everything, you can dress something up, you can just wear it like as a cool thing over a t-shirt. This keeps you pretty warm too. This is my J. Crew knit sweater blazer. This is very cozy, a little bit of Colleen, um, a little bit of hair. Uh, but I wore this pretty much all fall and winter, um, just continuously. It's great over a t-shirt, you can wear it over a tank top. Um, you can wear it with linen for the summer to like stay warm if you're on the beach, or you can wear it in the winter over something longer if you're really trying to bundle up. Um, it's got the button in the front so it gives you some nice shape. You can wear that with trousers, khakis, jeans. It gives me like grandpa wipes. I oh, wear it. I wear something like grandpa. Too. Yeah. You had mentioned that day, I think coastal grandma so that yeah. works. Maybe she borrowed it from grandpa. Where did you get that hoodie from? So this is a Banana Republic hoodie and I don't normally buy hoodies or wear hoodies too much. If I do they're usually crew necks because I felt like I was being choked by the, the actual hoodies. But this one I had got for her what, two years ago um, from Banana Republic and I think it's just adorable. And she recently stopped wearing hoodies because she felt like she was being choked by them. <laughs> so I was like, well, let me try that on. It's been a while. And I absolutely love it. It's loose enough up here that it just works and it 
I think will look really cute under blazers and jackets and that stuff. So nice neutral color should go with everything. And if I ever want to wear it again, well, I know where it is. Yeah. So then we've got our J. Crew. There is a theme here. I do shop at J. Crew way too much. They're just great for everyday basics. Um, good quality. So this is J. Crew. I believe this is called the Fisherman sweater. This is all cotton. Almost all of my wardrobes are going to be cotton or denim or linen. Once in a while with a hint of wool, but sometimes it gets itchy, so it's just like a hint. But I just, I really don't like things that aren't natural, that don't breathe. I just, I can't. <laughs> so this is the Fisherman yeah, sweater. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which, but you know, if you buy quality. things of good quality material, last they last. Years. Yeah. I mean, some of my things do, like you'll see a tiny bit of point here or there, but doesn't. That's after but, having it and washing it. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really affect it like horribly. It's not like it literally falls apart in the machine. So it's cotton, it's knit, and this is a good sweater for in between seasons and or again, if you spend any time at the beach and you need something just to warm up, you can pair this with your linen, your denim, your khaki, it goes with anything. You can put a nice button up underneath it, or you can just throw it on by itself. So this is my J. Crew quarter zip sweater. Again, cotton, nautical stripes, perfect for the beach, perfect for every day. I like navy blues, I like black stripes. And um, does the dog hair come <laughs> with the jacket? Yes, please excuse all of our pet hair because uh, since I do have this just hanging up in the open and we do love our pets, we do have the, the pet hair. So does our clothes. Yeah. But that's fine. This is my favorite jacket of yours. The sweater. The sweater. It's J. Crew. And um, when she dies, she will put this in her will and it will say it belongs to Malibu Jane because uh, I, my jaw dropped when she unpacked this and I said, oh, is that for, is that for me? <laughs> and she said, no, it's mine. And I said, that's funny. It's really I, funny. I did offer to get her one, but it was already sold out, so, anyway. so again, cotton, again, J. Crew, again, another neutral. This is lighter weight than some of the other ones. So again, transitioning towards that warmer weather, but it still works on its own, or again, you can always layer it up. Um, and again, I will be stealing it. <laughs> yeah, she will probably end up with this at some point. I may or may not know about it. Um, here is J. Crew. This is a button up or button down. I never know which way it's supposed to go. Button up or button down. Button up, because you don't just you don't unbutton yourself in order to get dressed. You have say to button, button down. Yourself. I don't know. Well, you're buttoning down, you're buttoning wrong. <laughs> well, then. I don't do buttons. <laughs> no, she's always hated buttons. I can't do them. For a long time in school, she literally would only wear like elastic waist jeans or leggings because she did not want to do the buttons. This is back in elementary school. Oh, I still don't want to do them. She doesn't like doing them. can't do the buttons. It's not just you though. I've seen other people on I've YouTube thick pop. fingers. Well, they've got like the Levi button up flyer, which we used to love in the 2000s. But and they're like, why? Why do I have to do 500 buttons? I have enough in my life to do. Yeah, I don't I want to do a, this. I had a cute pair of Levi's. Very cute, looked great on me, but I got rid of them because I couldn't do the buttons. I just can't. Yeah. It's too much time. Give me a zipper and I'll be fine. One button, maybe. Sometimes I have an issue with one button. All right, so this is my button up denim shirt from J. Crew. This is a dark denim. This is the Western style, as you can see by the darts on the top. Uh, and snap. These are actually snap, so you don't have that horrible buttoning experience. Um, Again, great transitional piece. It can be layered over a t-shirt or worn by itself. Sleeves up, sleeves down. It can go under a sweater. Just great to mix and match. And Western is very in right now. If you guys haven't been hearing Beyonce everywhere. Yes, Beyonce started an entire thing. So then I've got another denim shirt. I love my denim. I really do. I can live in it all day. But this is actually from Old Navy. I was impressed to find this because I have a couple shirts from Old Navy that are 100% cotton denim, and um, sometimes you'll have to pay extra for that anyway, you shouldn't. It's got a great um, high low cut. A few of my things, let's see, are kind of baggy. This is one of them because we have been on a weight loss journey, so I'm trying to like not size everything down right away. But so it's a little bit bigger, but it's still comfortable. It still wears well, it still layers well. This is a little bit thinner than our last one. Everything's getting a little bit lighter. Um, 
and I love to wear it with jeans for that denim and denim look or khakis or linen or anything else. All this, it just all coordinates together. This one's called the boyfriend shirt. Here, we'll find it. I might still have it. I got last year, but these are your few things. So this is my Banana Republic. This is my denim shirt, but it's a little bit more like a fancier denim because it's pinstripe. Um, this does have the buttons. They're white, so it dresses it up a little bit. Um, just a good all around shirt. You can, again, layer it, you can tie it up. Um, just a little bit of a twist. It's like in between like a white button up and denim, so the suit, of course, it's straight up Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna go to more button ups because if it's not a button up denim shirt, it's a button up cotton type. I love this one, it reminds me of Jerry McGuire. Jerry McGuire. Oh, risky business. Risky business. Where he slides across the floor. I will not be sliding across the floor in this. Just, <laughs> that is the scene. Tom Cruise at his finest. So this is J. Crew cotton basic button up light blue shirt. Um, I love wearing these all spring and summer because even though it's not a tank top, I don't want to show my arms or whatnot or t-shirt. It's just a little bit like a step above that t-shirt, but so airy and breathes so well. Like this is like a beach in yeah. shirt. It honestly, for me, like I'm more comfortable. I feel cooler in something like this than like a full on cotton t-shirt. Like sometimes those are just too clingy. This breathes. I love, love the light button of cotton. If you had to choose between J. Crew and Banana Republic. Oh gosh. I think I'd go J. Crew. I knew it. But I love Banana Republic. Denim I or button up? Button up denim, of course. <laughs> oh gosh, wait, is that another button up? It is another button up. Wow. And it was hard because again, I went from like 10 to four down to one. I'm like, how am I gonna do this? So I had to go through my four and figure out, okay, this one, you can see, this one has a different color button. It's very different. It's very different, it is different. This one has no pocket, but this one does. So I'm gonna be missing this one for the next 30 days. I really am. I always keep it back up, even if it goes somewhere, if I go to my Botox appointments, I'll stick on an extra white shirt in the bag. My neurologist hates I wear white. I'm like, I can bleach it. Get whatever you want on it. I'll just bring it home and bleach it. It's fine. Um, so I stick an extra one because I dumped coffee on them. I've had, I mean, whatever. You can just name it. She has an extra dropper. shirt. She's clumsy. She drops everything. And not only does she drop it's not things, very nice. when she uh, drops your coffee, she goes towards me and then drops it. But so this is my classic white button up that I'll be wearing for the next 30 days. And again, I was very happy to find this at Old Navy. And this is another boyfriend shirt, like the blue one. And um, with the boyfriends, what I like about them is they're not crisp really, they're oversized. And they're not super crisp, they're kind of soft, they're almost washed. like a um, Oxford, a light Oxford wash in feel. Um, a little long, I do roll it up, I can tuck it in, tie it up, again, layer it, put it under things. It's just, this is, in my opinion, a staple in all wardrobes, although I find out that my daughter does not agree. But she also is in steel mine, so. I still have a white shirt. I just don't wear them, and I was like, well, if we're sharing a wardrobe, do I really need to take up space with another white shirt? No. Yeah. But most of the time, is she gonna probably be wearing her white shirt? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we can't wear a white shirt on the same day, because no. we're just, I, I'm weird like that. I just, well, if you see our but today, I mean, we're bookends, but you know, for white and black, so. So then I've got my linen shirt from J. Crew. Now this is, um. I um, love this shirt. Let's see. One. Baird McNutt, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I, but made in India. I did recently order a pair of their pants in the same one that might be replacing my linen pants over here, um, but I'll have to see. They have a long history of making linen. I was looking at their story and I had this since last year in two colors. I have this khaki linen natural color and then a black one. And even though I weigh quite a bit more than it still fits me really good now. Um, it's got that relaxed. And I used to always think I didn't like linen. I was like, what is the big deal of linen? Um, it depends on the quality of linen. It does wrinkle quite fast. It does, it can wrinkle. 
but the itchiness that you might experience and I experience and a lot of people might not experience is because it's not a good quality linen. So while it's gonna be more expensive and I totally get that, if you can find it on sale, like uh, right now J. Crew has these on sale, I know. You can find it on sale, the last part of this does have a little snag fix, but, um, and it keeps you cool. The way linen breathes, um, they say it's actually better than cotton. And I can attest to, you know, that. Plus, you just have that, like, that effortlessly, like, cool, cool, relaxed, chilled vibe. Like, you live an unproblematic life. Yes. Yeah, it just flows. It doesn't like, grab or hug too tight or anything. It's so, great to wear with shorts. Just make sure you're going for good quality linen. Make it an investment piece. You know, yes, you're going to pay a little more extra for it, but, you know, take good care of it. Wash it uh, carefully and wear it well. This one... And then I've got the exact same shirt in the black, which you can see. Yep, yeah, she already brought it for me. Um, it did wash out a little bit more than I would have liked, but it's still perfectly fine. I'll be wearing it all summer long. I honestly don't plan on adding more than a couple pieces to my wardrobe at all this summer period because I did invest in some that I really liked last year. Here is a basic white t-shirt. This one I struggled with. Um, this is the crew neck. I wanted to do one graphic t-shirt as well, but I would have gone over my number. So we'll see how this goes. Cause I, <laughs> I love this shirt. Uh, I have another, a second white shirt. I wanted to do one in a crew neck, a little bit looser. I want a little bit tighter V-neck. So this is, this is Old Navy. And this is Target, Universal, Universal Thread and uh, they just always have great deals on t-shirts. More fit, fitting. Yeah, more fitting for other things. But I did want to do a looser graphic shirt. So that was my struggle. I want to have the basics covered. I also did a black v-neck. This is again from Target Universal Thread. I think that's and the same shirt. Same, same exact same shirt, but in black. It's a little bit hairy. I am looking for the perfect unhairy black t-shirt. Nothing exists. I will find it. Followed up by my black stripes. I get so much crap from my daughters about my stripes. I have let go of so many stripes. It's still navy again. She is a striped queen. But you know what? When preppy came in, when like old money vibes came in, guess what? I already had it. My I personally am not a zebra, but she is. Well, I'm not a zebra either. Zebras have different types, <laughs> different types of stripes. <laughs> all right, so that's all my tops and jackets. So we're gonna move into bottoms. Really, we've been one size apart. I was like, it's two sizes of this, one size, like, for example, 10 to eight. So she'll, something of hers will get too big for her and it'll fit me. So now I'm getting her hand-me-downs, which is actually the opposite of the way it normally is with like moms and daughters. So this is different. But I'll tell you, these jeans, there's nothing like getting to say, I'm wearing my daughter's jeans. These are I'm my so favorites. proud. They're one of my favorites. I'm so happy. I'm surprised that fits her because um, her legs are so short and my oh are so my long. Oh my gosh. See, she's and, mean. She's so And so mean. like, I'm surprised that she didn't just drag them around. So mean. so mean. But I'm glad that she has some platform sneakers oh to wear on us. Yes, she's a whole five, five and a half. She's just so When I wear shoes, I'm five, six. Yes, well, I can be five, six too. Have you seen my heels? You won't see them today, sadly, but. <laughs> <laughs> so these are Levi's dad jeans in kind of like a grayish, dark charcoal color. Um, they are high roasted, high rise, super wide cute. Leg. Yeah, they're supposed to be wide leg, but they're not they're like. Straight. Yeah, they're not like your traditional like wide leg loose jean. They're like uh, to me they feel almost a little bit tapered, but they're, they're supposed I to like be straight. To bring them yeah. So like the eighties for a look. I've tried them a few different ways. Um, haven't actually got to wear them. I think I wore them once so far, but I just got them from her. So I pranced around and said, "I'm wearing my daughter's jeans." <laughs> there is a brand called that. I want to try them. Actually, I, yeah, called not my daughter's jeans. This was a fit mother's. <laughs> I loved that I was able to pass them down because I was very sad to see them go. Yeah, this will be a one that I hold on to. But I have some Levi's that are that I'll show you guys that they will never leave my closet. I don't care. I don't care Let's if see. they all drown in them. I don't care. They're not leaving. She had some other jeans that she said were not leaving, and they left. And I'm just waiting. These ones, 
I was a little bit on the fence with because I had not worn them a lot. They're a little bit shorter. Like I'm in between so five four. I'm sure I understand. Like it's in between petite and regular. And so these ones I can wear with flats. So I can't wear them with. No, see, I'm so tall that the petite doesn't always work at five four. So, but I wanted a pair of jeans I could dress up. And I don't have I had trousers, but they were cinched at the ankles and they just were not working for me. So for now, these are my dressy bottoms, but they might get replaced with black trousers. We'll see. Um, just a nice pair of dark denim. These are again J. Crew. These are the skinny flares. Is that another skinny flare? It is. We um these are like our favorite jeans recently, as far as like fit. Which version is this one? I can tell. Yeah, we literally started at one size and just keep going down and passing them down. So she loses weight, gives them to me, I lose weight, and then <laughs> resell them. them, yeah. So, and then get some more. So this is the skinny flare again. These are the regular, regular length. Um, and they just, you've seen me in these. If you've watched any of our other videos, these are the jeans I'm most likely wearing. Uh, I love the wearing them with me. Uggs, my platform Uggs, um, but I also wear them with heels to dress them up. Great for curves. Um, yeah, they are comfortable. Uh, they wash well. They are expensive though, so they're an investment. So, you know, we haven't bought tons of jeans um, over our weight loss journey because, you know, we've been waiting. Most of my jeans are thrifty. Yeah, yeah, she always finds really cute ones. I had mentioned these earlier. These might be being replaced just because these are on the shorter side and I well, ordered better linens. For you. So while I would like to have both, if I can only have one, if the ones are longer, they'll work better with more of my shoes. Um, these ones are super comfy though, and I was so surprised. I did have to wash them a few times because one of the joys of linen is the more you wash it, the more you wear it, the more you love it the softer it gets. So these are actually from Old Navy. Um, really? I thought they were your pants. Yeah, they're from Old Navy. But after washing them and wearing them and loving them, they have softened up a lot. Are they the quality 100% as the J. Crew ones? No. But they are pretty darn close. They're very comfy and you'll definitely probably see me in them um, with a white button down, blue button down, sweater. I mean, again, anything because it's that nice neutral color and it's flowy. It's got the drawstring waist, which is also awesome because if you gain or lose a couple pounds or if it's that time, you don't have to worry about anything. Or if, if you just want to like, actually I'm have cheese cake. <laughs> yeah, I certainly wouldn't leave the house probably <laughs> white linen in here, but you know, and this one's a recent addition. Well, I added it late last summer, so I didn't get a chance to wear it, but. I was dying to find it and nobody was able to find these last season. They were just selling all like hot cakes. So I got one longer one, one shorter one. I picked the longer one, it's more versatile right now. Uh, long denim skirt. This is from Abercrombie. Um, it's got the slit up the back. And this is non-stretch denim. So uh, if you do get one non-stretch, it's a skirt. Trust me, make sure that you're the right size. Gonna be but um, I can't wear it, wait to wear it. I was like, well, I don't wear skirts that much, but I want to. And I don't want to be one of those fantasy self items that we hear about. So it's in here. Either I'm gonna wear it or it's gonna go within the 30 days, weather permitting. I mean, I was outside mowing and tanked out 30 days, so I'm sure I'll be able to handle it. I don't wear skirts. Um, so then here is a couple of my bags. I'm doing four bags, and this was not easy. So I don't have hundreds, but I picked them to work for me. The ones I've picked, like I have things for different things. And here's my No A, and you're gonna see a review on this too, if you check out our channel. Um, I have not worn this one more than once in a year. And so that is exactly why I picked it. I want to wear it. I want to get to know and it more. Wear it. And I love it because I absolutely love the design stuff. I just haven't pulled it out. Like I just grab whatever's easy. So if I don't wear it, this one's gonna go too, but I absolutely love it. Um, it's so cute and just holds so much. And doing our review, it holds a lot more than I thought because I don't want to use it but once. There's my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Vandalier in Azure. Um, my one qualm with this, 
I'll use it a couple times as well because I'm like, well, it's like spring and summer comes and it's gone. I only like to use it in the spring and summer. But I have a bag. I have it in the dirt. She'll be used spring, summer, winter, fall. Yeah. All the time. I do wish I'd gotten in the 25 though. Oh yeah, I had the 25. It was amazing. So it is kind of big, but we'll see. I've used it a couple times recently and my only problem is that, as I mentioned, uh, the bigger the bag, the more I put in it, the heavier it gets. So, but it's a zert and it's spring and I'm going to use it. So here's my Louis Vuitton Lock Me and I added this strap to it um, so I had more options. She actually found it for me. So this one's um, really nice and versatile because I use it whenever I dress something up or dress down. It's got quite a bit of room, different compartments. I well, almost used the bag once and I was trying to fit my stuff in it and it surprisingly carries so much. Yeah. Like you would not guess it. It did get a little scratch from a Great Dame, so that was kind of sad. Good to but I can um I can Well that's what happens when you have a great day. Yeah. Can we use it as a shoulder bag like this? Go through and use it as a crossbody. Kind of like a Chanel. And then if I use it like that, of course, I just take the strap off. Yep, yeah, like a Chanel. Um, otherwise, I can just use it with the strap and make it super casual crossbody. And then it's also got the zipper in the back, which is great for even more storage. And then my Gucci this is the Jackie, the classic Jackie. Um, this is the bigger version. I think I'd maybe like to get a smaller one as well, but I wouldn't want to give up this one ever. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, so soft. This is another one I don't really have to worry about in the rain. This one's got quite a bit of room in it. I'm sure I'll use it someday. I like that you have bags with different colors on it for different outfits. Oh, yeah. And you can go both directions. Yep, that's true. Um, but it's a good for all weather. And I love the vintageness of the jacket with the colors and the green and the red, the brown, I thought it was good for spring, summer, fun. So, now we're down to shoes. Let's start, actually. <laughs> I'm wearing one of them. These are my black sandals. I have some on the way and I'm replacing them with. These are just kind of worn out and kind of big. Prada, white, brown, dad sandals. And if sandals. you are envious, so am I. I got an incredible deal on Not these. Fair. On a bestiaire. Um, brand new. And they were really hard to find for a while. She wants them. So if they go missing, I know where to find them. It's not a want, it's a need. Pearls. These ones are so comfy. Literally, I put my feet in them, and because it's a pile of leather, it's literally like I'm sliding my toes into butter if, if, if I did that, which I don't. But if I did, I imagine it would feel like that. It's just like the most buttery leather there is. Um, and I've worn these. Not tons, but I have worn several times and considering, I mean, that's pretty impressive. Like they've been to Wilmington and back. I'm doing good. If you're lactose intolerant, think about going to Wilmington. <laughs> she really threw me off there. <laughs> okay, so then I've got my UGG platform tennis shoes. You found these at TJ Maxx. Max. Yeah. I think I got these for like $20 or some ridiculously cheap price. Um, I've worn them several times, and again, these wear very well. Maybe because they're so thick, I don't know. Nothing can but get they to just, it. Yeah, they just don't show much dirt. Um, and I don't really need tons of tennis shoes for summer because I will live in flip-flops, but because I'm vertically challenged, um, I do need two different kinds of tennis shoes, one for my longer pants and one for my shorter pants. So these are my longer pants. Classic New Balances, and these, Again, I have worn the heck out of these. Like I have just worn these stuff and they don't show any dirt. The bottoms remind me of Legos. They do. They show nothing. And I have to worn these. You know where I found these? You'll never guess where I found these. They were selling out where in a lot of places. Um, last year they were selling out. I found them on J. Crew's website. Oh, I did. So happy I grabbed them. My Gucci Crocs. They're kind of like a croc. They are, they're nice neutral. You either love them or you hate them, but if you are vertically challenged, you'll love the lift. Um, I love that I can hose them down. I can literally wear them anywhere. You know, it's like not, like, it's not a concern. Like I'm wearing Gucci's, but I'm not worried because I can just wash them in the tub. So they're just easy summer shoes for that reason. I think that is it for 
from my closet. You know, that's a really cute bracelet. Where'd you get it from? Oh, thank you. This is one of my everyday bracelets that I wear all the time. This is from my daughter that I got from Christmas. This one right here. Oh, me. Yes, that's right. The halo, yes. Good. Yep. So, we saw some new life. And now we're gonna move on to Malibu's. Throughout the month, we're gonna take pictures of outfits and stuff that we put together and we'll compile them and get back to you on what we were able to put together and what we thought of the whole experience and if we're gonna continue it or not. So, let's grab your stuff.